Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me. Just want to make a quick video to show you another way that you can create some quality audiences that can be used for your retargeting and for all your Facebook ads. Now, let's say we have a, you know, uh, a niche that's taking off on your general store and you're starting a new page or you're starting a new pixel or you're starting a new asset or whatnot store in that singular niche now you already have some data you already have some assets at that point if you're doing that some buyer data that you can kind of optimize your pixel a little bit better or optimize your ads a little bit better in the start instead of just doing something like interest targeting like we always start with so what we're going to do is I'll just kind of walk you through that here where we're going to grab our emails of all our buyers in a certain niche. We're going to take that email list. We're going to put it into Facebook as a custom audience. And then we're going to create lookalike audiences off of that custom audience to give us a wide range, a very broad range to start advertising this new store, these new products, or just this another expandable reach, a new audience to kind of hit. So what you can do, I'm not sure if you can go into the reports and export by niche unless you set tags in Shopify, but if you're using any type of autoresponder or email collection and list building system, um, if you're using Clavio, if you're using MailChimp, if you're using Aweber, if you're using GetResponse, ActiveCampaign, or what I'm using is Rare.io, um, any of these you'll be able to export by product buyer. So what I've done is you can click into Rare I.O. You'll see just the, the simple list we've set up with this store. Um, this is our, we'll go from cow buyers. Now what we can do is click export context for this group. And after you click that, it'll just ask what email you want to send to. I already did this a second ago. Um, and this is the email sent. Your export is ready. Here is your download. Went ahead and clicked that sucker and we were given a little CSV file. So here's just a whole bunch of emails that I'm going to put into a, a CSV file here and upload as a custom audience. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to go to audiences. Just like normal, instead of using a website URL, or a content content ID or an action like that, we're going to use a customer list. So we can go match emails, phone numbers, um, things like that. So we can go ahead and we can copy paste the custom list. That might work here with what we have. Or we can upload a file if we just want to do the CSV. So let's go ahead and, and if you're using MailChimp, it looks like you can just import directly. MailChimp's pretty good about having those options. So where are we at here? Pretty much what I can do. I'll just delete all these. Maybe. There we go. Alright, so that might have worked. And we'll go upload file, emails, we'll up we'll upload that file we just created, new one. I believe that should do it. I agree the Facebook custom audiences terms. You want to check that just to make sure that you have you have you know the rights to create this custom audience. This is buyers who have agreed to receive marketing. So that's all very uh, pretty straightforward as a, that's a legit audience I can use. And uh, we can use let's check out our formatting examples. Okay, it looks like it's okay. We can even have the uh, let's try that. Create audience. <clears throat> All right, we're going to call this Cal Buyers Email List Audience. Next. 
All right, so now we have the audience. We can create an ad using the audience, or we can expand our audience with lookalikes, I'd say. Refresh that. All right, so it's not ready yet, but as those, you know, that's 2.4 thousand buyers of the past a uh, couple months there, whatever, in the year that we created this custom audience for. You can grab as many niches or however, if you want to do your whole store, if it's niche specific, that's cool too. This was a general store, kind of with the idea of, um, like you said, you're starting a general store, you're testing out a whole bunch of niches, and then you find one that takes off, you want to create a specific store to that niche, this is a good way that you can kind of start into that as far as having a broad audience that would be quality to go after and start selling your shirts and just ways to expand your reach on all your ads. So we'll let we'll give that a few minutes and I'll come back and we'll create that lookalike off of it just to show you how to get started there. All right, so our custom audience has populated. Out of those 2.4 thousand buyers, we got 1.9 thousand translated over to the Facebook audience. So that's solid. That's you know you just need over 100 in your location. You choose to do a lookalike audience. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and create those lookalikes. And like I said, this is the audience that will get us started um, on new products, the new brand, the new store to really get things cranking. So we're going to go with advanced, get all six of these and just make one for each percentage point possible. So my source looks good. I'll do that one more time to create the uh, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight, nine, ten, whichever. All right. All right, so there are our lookalikes to get started. Or there are our lookalikes to get started with our new ads and our new brand or just expanding your reach on your products. So just another way to dial in an audience, a quality buyers list with Facebook ads. Um, you know, if you haven't built an audience with just normal traffic or pixels or anything like that, this is a way to have that's 1900 cow product buyers. We know that for sure. So it's just you know, like you can tell it's very dialed in compared to whatnot. And then the lookalikes are a way for us to expand that reach with the exact, um, at least similar um, demographics. So thanks again, guys. My name is Travis Patel. Hopefully this helped you. Have a good one.